Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at shape data and data graphics. So on the screen, I have a basic flow chart and I'm just going to bring a process onto the screen. Now, shape data is already pre-populated for some diagrams. Most, in fact, not the basic one. You have to create them yourself. But this is a pre-populated list for shape data in a flow chart. If I just close that down, you can get shape data activated by the data tab and then shape data window. Or depending on what version you've got, if you go to view, you've got task panes and then in there you've got shape data. Whichever one you use, you can get shape data to display on the right. This is a floating box, should I say. So I've docked it to the right and I like it there. Now, these are the defaults. You don't have to have these. You can basically right click and go into data and then define shape data. And what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to delete all of these except status and I'm going to create a new one. So a new one, I'll just call it name. That's going to be text. That's OK. Another new one. And I'll call it cost. Should have kept that one. So I've got status, name, and cost. Now I want name to go to the top. So what you need to do there is put a sort key in one. And again, depending on what version you've got, will depend whether you've got this option. So status can go second to cost three. So that's the sort order that they will appear in this list. And cost needs to be a currency, so I'll just change that to currency so we've got it sitting in pounds. Click OK to that, and then you can see the name. I'll just call this one process one status. Now that I left that one there because that's got a drop down list, and I'll put in progress, and then the cost I'll put down 200 pounds. Now, when you bring a second shape on process it goes back to the default set so what you've got to do here is you either create a template a shape template like that add it to your stencil and then bring it back from there so what I mean by that is if I go into more shapes and open one of my stencils projects that's the one let's open that one so these are some shapes that I've created and it'll just open this stencil and then what I'm going to do is push this shape in there. So I'll just drag this one into there and call it um, process. So I have that to pull onto this document now. So when I pull that on, that's remembered that. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be go to the developer tab and you need to activate that through file options or you can right click and go customize the ribbon to take the developer tab on and in there you've got the document stencil which will just basically give you the the shapes that you've got on the screen so if i pull that process or that one they both should have the same so that's the default one that's the one i've done so they've got the same fields that one there i need to name that so either or let me just get rid of that what you don't want to be doing is reinventing the wheel each time. So I'm now going to use this process. And if I go back to home and put the connector tool on, I still get the functionality of having it snap into position. But each of these has now got the same shape data fields, as you can see there. Now, because I filled the first one in, it's just basically copied that. So I didn't really need to fill that in. So this is going to be process two and it can be in progress and that can be 50 pounds and this will be process three now the shape data you can that's in progress that could be one two five shape data can be sent as a report to excel for example so this information could be sent into an excel file and you can use Excel and share it with colleagues in Excel. 
to do that would be basically you go to the review tab and you've got shape reports and flow chart if i just run that one just to show you into excel okay this will drop that data which is not a massive amount of data into excel and open it up so you get that stuff there and then you can edit this if you need to so that's one reason why you would fill in shape data get rid of that now back to this what i want to do is use data graphics now to display some information so if i just highlight all of these you can do it one at a time but i want to do it all of all together go to the data tab and then you've got this option advanced data graphics i've already created some but i'm going to create a new one new data graphic so what you'll get with new item is you'll get the fields that we've got there so I want to do this for the cost field first of all and I want to display the cost field as an icon and you've got lots of options here different icons and you can just pick whatever you want so I'm going to go for the this one I'm not going to fill the bottom one in, but basically, if anything is greater than 100, I want you to display a green traffic light. If it's greater than 50, amber, and less or equals to 50, less or equals to 50, I want it to go red, like so. And it says use the default position. So at the moment, I'm not using the default, it's going right at top. So if I drop that arrow down, you've got different options there, right edge. I'll go for right edge, top. Yeah, that's where I want it to go. Click OK to that and OK again. Yes. And then you get the indicators going on there based on the money that I've already got in these shapes. So I click off these shapes. So that's over 100. That's less than 100. That's over 100. So if I put that one down to 75, that one goes amber. Now let's do that again. I'm going to edit that one now. So if I go back into that data graphics and edit that one, so I'm adding to it a new item. This time I want the name displayed as text and I want no label so let's get rid of the label and this is going far right let's just go right in the middle so it's going to be right in the middle click ok to that ok again and now you can see the process in black on blue so if i want to change the designs of this so that stands out a bit better now back to the data tab, one more because we've got the name, uh, not the name, the status. If I go into data graphics again, edit this one, create another item, new item, status, select an option. So again, we've got different options. Let's look at the data bar for a moment. So you've got data bar, don't really progress bar let's go for that progress bar see what that looks like and I want this at the bottom actually far right bottom let's see what it looks like I'm not I might not be happy with this one so that's not really reflecting this at all so that doesn't really work for this so I'll go back in and get rid of that or I'll edit that one and just pick a different edit item so I don't want that let's just go for text because it's going to come up with this, this sort of information and I want it in the bottom far right bottom I don't want a label no label ok ok so completely completed completed so I'll just change one of these to something else in progress so it's in progress if you want to change the alignment on on this you can just click on that and just go left aligned 
left got it okay you can just realign those things there so that's a quick video on shape data adding your own shape data deleting the one that's preset and then looking at data graphics and adding data graphics and editing data graphics to various shapes so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next section